Did the lights go off? Hi everyone, let's talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 3, Uprising. Uprising! <laughs> let's start with some quick thoughts. It was really cool how the way they interrupted the credits right at the beginning, just to make us feel like we were in it. I'm glad we got to see some more of Ada, even mm -hmm. if it was just like a little sneak peek of it. She feels eerily human. Yeah, she does feel really human. Right? Like when he snapped at her, you kind of felt bad for her. You're like, it's so mean. <laughs> Moving on to Ghost Rider and Daisy. Yes. She is not Did we agree good. on a ship name for them? No, you know what? I Quick Rider. I gotta say, I'm still not feeling it. Quick Rider. I'm not feeling it. All I'm right. not feeling it at all. all right. I'm not feeling their relationship at all. <laughs> I don't think Gabe's feeling the relationship I don't think Gabe's feeling either. the relationship at all either. <laughs> but here's the thing. I, I honestly just don't quite see the whole storyline, how it's happening. The whole uprising did put a pause on their investigation, so I get that. But what is she gonna do now? They're gonna reconnect and they're gonna go back right into the whole investigation again? Like, what is, what's the point of it? You bring them together, they're gonna start working together, but they're not, but not, what's the deal? It just didn't, didn't feel like it made a lot of sense. I didn't have a problem with it. No? no. I just thought it was uh, a little bit ironic that Gabe was like, you should not hang out with him because you're like a bad influence. And I'm like, I feel like Ghost Rider is a bad influence, you know? <laughs> that's like in him so the way i guess i agree with you in the sense that it was a little bit cliche that the you know whoever the family member is like you're a bad influence for him go away and then you create this rift between the two and then Which you're gonna is, have to find yeah, her again yeah um yeah that's just prolonging but, the storyline but i did like them fighting those thugs yeah and it was like hey that was all me it was a little there's a ghost no you said it was all him yeah but it was he had the eyes he made the car burn that was a ghost rider that was not him come on but that arm though yeah it's looking really bad yeah her arm is like, not looking great i don't know why like isn't there something that she can do or just you know what seems it's i have a theory on that i feel like it's one of those things that they give her impediments so that she has something on top of because otherwise she'd just be like quaking all over the place. Be like <laughs> but, unstoppable. Yeah, so I get that they're trying to give her an impediment, but I also think it's one of those things that's gonna get solved, I think, throughout the season somehow. By Fitz. By who Fitz had already or some it. other <laughs> way. Yeah, I do feel that's gonna be maybe the catalyst of maybe bringing her back into the sh into Shield. I, I do think so. Because I will say something, I really prefer Daisy and Shield. Not so much outside of Shield. We've been having her outside of Shield for a few seasons now. That really needs to stop. For a few seasons? Well, last season also she half half of it she was outside of Shield. Well, she okay. was outside of Shield. Right, but she, she wasn't was. really. She was controlled. So moving on to Simmons, Radcliffe, and May. One of my favorite storylines this episode. Uh, I love that the director pretty much like give her the go ahead to do whatever she needed to do to save me. I was like, well, okay, he's not that bad. Yeah. Because he was like, yeah, whatever you need to do, just do it. And I was like, yeah, I like him. And then can we talk about that brain map that Reckless has? I was like, this is so amazing. I love how he <laughs> went from being on the villain side to being on the good guy well, side. Well, to be fair, he was never like a villain. He's I know. just really into like into the research science. and science. I, I do, however, wonder from a storyline perspective, right, is the whole Ada, Radcliffe, a subplot gonna be the main plot at some point? Or basically is that gonna be sort of something that's added on top of it and at some point Ada is gonna help and then at the end it's all gonna justify the integration of that quote-unquote subplot into the main plot? I feel like we already got a little bit of the Ada is gonna help because her power source helped May, May, which I was thinking, huh, I wonder if like Radcliffe is gonna use this to convince Simmons at some point she saved May. Mm-hmm. Huh? 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 She can't be that bad. She can't be that bad. Speaking of May, I loved her waking up where she's like, what is this? Where am I? Take this off me. <laughs> and she's already like back to the old May, like mad at everyone. Yeah. It is kind of worrisome that the only cure to that illness is to have to kill the patient and revive them <laughs> in order to... That's to kind of fair, brutal. <laughs> to, yeah, to be fair, it might not be the only way. I think it's the only way they were able to figure out within the time that they had to figure it out. True. Let's move on to the Coulson storyline. With Fitz, Mac, and Yo-Yo. And the blackouts galore. I did like the whole Coulson, you know, driving the car. It's like, yeah, I'm all... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck! I'm stuck, guys! 
<laughs> yeah. Suddenly the the hand doesn't seem that exciting yeah, yeah, yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that was that was easy. Technology failed in that part of the episode, and really what came to the rescue, as Fitz put it so well, was good old, just regular rudimentary science. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then, compass. And, and then the other people are like blank stare, like what? <laughs> I also wanted to bring up Mac and Yo-Yo's kind of like interaction at the end, where he's like obviously really mad at her for not telling him about Daisy and she's not you know actually I kind of liked her being like yeah whatever yeah and he's like there's oh, there shouldn't be any secrets between us and she's like why is there is there something is there something between us and I was like oh was I not told oh Ooh, burn <laughs> Jeffrey Mace we finally know who the director is although I think everybody had pretty <laughs> everybody much guessed. Had kind of guessed uh Jeffrey Mace is a character who is also the Patriot in the comic books, but I don't think he has any powers in the, in the comic. comic book. He also at some point becomes Captain America. Still no powers. It, it looks like they made him an inhuman in the show, and so far they haven't brought up any of his past, so maybe they just took the name and then they changed the character for the show, just as like an Easter egg kind of thing. Or maybe we'll learn more about his past. I mean, you know. I do like uh, the character even yeah. more and more. Uh, yeah. Definitely, I'm getting the sense that the whole conflict between uh, new director and old director is sort of like subsiding and they're be getting into their groove and saying, I need you, it's like, I get it, I was there, uh, <laughs> I got you, I got you. But and the fact that now S.H.I.E.L.D. is officially back in action yeah. is actually pretty interesting, even though the circumstances were obviously pretty bad. Yeah, you could see it both ways. Like in a way, maybe that helped them come out in a better light that they would have otherwise. Oh like, yeah, they definitely you know, put a good spin help. on it. Yeah, exactly. You know. Oh yeah, for sure they did good put a good spin on it. Which does bring us back to the big bad yes. of this episode, which turns out is Senator Nadir. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. knew? Who is saying they lied? It really wasn't humans, but of course she knows better because, because she's, she's behind the whole thing. Yes. So it's interesting now. Okay. Here's the, the couple things that we, we, we do know. So she's behind it. She's all about killing inhumans, but she's also taking advantage of the registration uh, act uh, information. And so and she's working with the watchdogs and they have financing that takes them global. Yeah. Which is kind of scary. Yeah. Right? Like, it's not Hydra, right? No. At some point, you gotta. It's, it's not, not Hydra. Hydra's fault. <laughs> Hashtag I, Hydra's fault. I know. It is Hydra's fault. <laughs> is it? It should. It should. <laughs> At the end of the season. Surprise! It was Hydra all along! You know what I think happened? You know what I think happened? The moment, you know, Hydra disbanded, it's not like the money disappeared, right? And it's what, not like the people disappeared. They're just called watchdogs now. Yeah, they just basically took over their resources. Okay. That's what I think. Oh, okay. um, what I am curious about, though, is that... Terrigen cocoon we saw at the end as she was leaving. So it's like, is it her place? I don't think it is, but it's obviously someone that she knows or that she has a connection. You know, there with. were some envelopes on the ground. Yeah. I couldn't. I could not make out who the person at the address was. I, yeah. I don't know if actually she cared about that person as much. It looked like she did, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. I don't know. It's not, it, it could, she doesn't I live there. I don't think so. I don't think she is. She seemed to be like, I'll just I'll just leave the TV on, kind of taunting them, I felt a little bit. That's weird. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. What I also wasn't sure about is like, how long has this person been in the cocoon? Has it stopped? Are they like getting ready to become inhuman? Like what's, what's going on? What's in the cocoon? What's in the cocoon? What's in the cocoon? <laughs> Those were all our thoughts, but of course we'd love to hear what you thought of this episode. Who do you think is in a cocoon? What do you think that's all about? What about Ada? Do you want to see more of her? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss any of our Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.